This is a film aimed at estate agents and letting agents to show them how using a combination of uh, TurboCAD and Google SketchUp you can greatly enhance uh, the, your, the standard of presentations of the properties you're showing people. We're starting off here with a, a 2D view of a one bedroom flat, <coughs> standard sort of thing you'd find in a flyer from a, an estate agent. On here I've got the text on one layer and the walls on another layer. Um, to take it into SketchUp, it's probably best to sort of flatten it out a bit and, and anyway, I don't really want to take the text in. I could take the text in, but what I'm going to do is produce a, a 3D visualisation of it, so we don't really need that because for the bedroom, I'll eventually put a bed in it, it'll be obvious what it is. So I'll highlight the text layer and I'll simply delete that layer. Um, then what I would do normally is I would go to Save As and here I would save it as a Google SketchUp file, an SKP file and I have already signed it here uh, and I've called it a part finished plan view because I've done some of the donkey work already. So I'd go save but then it says well you've already saved that so I'll say yeah I know I have. Then I'll go to my Google SketchUp and open Google SketchUp. Start using SketchUp. As this comes in I'll import this drawing into it. So I'll go to File, Import, and I'll find it. And there it is. It's, it's Part Finished Plan View. I know that's what it's called. There it is. And I go Open. And here it is. Now, when you bring it in, it's grouped. <clears throat> so all the lines, everything is one thing. And I want to be able to snap to those lines <clears throat> to build my walls. So I'm, I need to explode it. So I'm going to right click and say explode. And that means that they're all individual walls. That's on the floor. And that's it, that's there. Now, we don't really need to go. And I'm going to look at, I'm going to go to camera and standard views and top. So here it is. Now, Actually, it came in looking like these lines here, parallel lines together. And what you need to do is to fill these lines in. Anyway. Now, you can use the, the, the pencil tool up here, or you can use the rectangle tool. I tend to use the rectangle tool, and I use R keyboard shortcut to pick that tool up. And then what I'm going to do is, you'll see it, it snap into it, intersection points, snaps to there and here, and it fills itself in there and here left click here, there, left click here and there. It's easy, easy as that. Inside's filled in, we'll take that out in a second. I hit the space bar and I select that bit in the middle and then I hit delete and that's out again. Now what I need to do is to um, I've got to get rid of the lines I don't want. So I'm going to hit E uh, for eraser and I'm going to get rid of this line here. I don't know what that was. And I'm going to take out these lines here. One, two, and just a couple over here, uh, this one, that one, and that one. And there if I go to camera, uh, standard views, and I've got it, and if I go to zoom extends, that's here, I'll get the whole drawing. And uh, just notice, like I've missed a bit there, let's take that out. Okay, so that's straightforward enough. It's gone a little bit skew with, so I'll go back to the top and that's right. Now, um, <coughs> in the plan view, you had uh, gaps where the doors were. Here, I've you'll notice um, around here, this is where the front door was. I filled that in, and this is the bathroom door and the bedroom door, and there's actually a back door as well. And these I've simply filled in uh, because I don't need them. I don't want them. What I'm going to do is build a wall up and then take away uh, a gap for the doors. I've also noticed here that somehow I've filled this line in across here. So that's a little bit of a mistake, so that's okay. I'll go to L for line, I click in there and here, and then here and there. And then I can select that and delete it. I can select that and delete it, that and delete it. So you can see that it's reasonably simple to uh, correct 
I'm no expert at Google SketchUp. Um, there are some very good uh, training videos on YouTube by Aidan Chopra, um, who, who is no, he knows just about everything about it. I'm a, a sort of working bloke using it, and um, but you can see that you know once you've made a mistake, it's not difficult to correct. And uh, I'm going to do this very much on the fly and correct mistakes as I make them. So now I'm going to go to standard views and I'm going to go isometric. And I want to grow these walls up now. So I'm going to hit P for push pull and I'm going to click onto the wall there. Left click, take my finger off the mouse and you can see that these can go up or down. There we are, there's up. Now, down in the bottom right there's a box there saying distance which well it means heights for us and SketchUp will understand metric or it will understand imperial feet and inches so we're going to use both just to test it out where it says distance 2.15 well the average height of walls these days is 2.4 meters but say this is an old building it's a bit higher so I'm going to say 2.6 m for meters hit return now I know that's the right size the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on here uh, drawings for where my doors and windows are going to go and I'm just going to draw rectangles for now and this front window I'm going to do simply by eye I want a window there I'm going to go around and pull all these rectangles in first and then afterwards show you um, how we push them in so R here this is the front door it's quite a big front door so I'm just going to draw this one by eye and around here we've got a, a window in this uh, alcove and we have another larger window. I can click onto here and this will go straight across. I can line these up as you can see. And uh, again, if I go hover over that and come across there, it'll be the same. But actually, I'm going to make this window rather bigger. Okay, now I'm going to come around the back. Now there's a door at the back. Now say the door is, uh, has been there for some time and this door we, we can measure and we know it's an imperial size door. So here I can give it the sizes and I'll say this is a 32 inch by a 78 inch door. So I'm going to type in 32 inch comma space 78 inch. Hit return and there's the door. I can have some others here. So here's, here's I want the door into the bedroom. Same thing. Click on here and I'm going to again give it the size. I'm going to say 32 inches, comma, uh, 78 inches, hit return. And there's just one more door to do, which is the bathroom door, which is again, I'll make the same. So I'll type in 32 inches, comma, space, 78 inches, hit return. There's all my doors. A bit near the edge that one, but that's okay, because we can always change it later if we need to. So now what I need to do is to make holes in this building for us to later on, at a, we're in another film, bring in objects from the 3D warehouse. So I'm going to hit P on the keyboard for push-pull or you can go up to this uh, push-pull icon here. So you hover over it, you left click and take your finger off and then you push it in. Um, when it sort of turns to a slight moray pattern like that, then you left click and then it bashes the hole inside. If you take it too far, you're dragging, you're dragging it inwards. It becomes an object. So you've got to take it in. It's a delicate touch. Goes to a sort of, ooh, what let's say. Didn't seem to want to do that. Okay, so I'll do Control Z and try that again. There you go. This one. Has that worked out? No. Now what's happened here, you see, if you look around the back, I've pushed it in. And that's not what I wanted to do. It's just a matter of practice, this. You will get it in time. Just as it starts to go a bit funny. On face, it said, so click. That's it. Large one. It might say, if it says on face, that's great. There you go. It's just there. Okay. Except we go around here and again push it in get the moray it's gone and I think that is the lot 
We've got a couple of stray lines here and there, but they're not really important. We'll get rid of those another time. Uh, we may be able to get rid of them this time, but if it causes trouble, we'll do it later. Yeah, we'll do it later when we bring in other things. Uh, there's one more, oh, there's two more doors. There's a bedroom door here, which I can take in. Uh, offset limited, there we go. And there should be a bathroom door. Again, that's gone. So I can hit this one, zoom extends. I can have a look around the building and uh, I think that's a good start. So you can see now for your uh, putting it into your publication, that looks rather considerably more interesting than the other one, than the other thing did. But again, if you want uh, a plan view of it, then we can go up to camera, standard views, top, then we've got our standard view. And if we go to the zoom, we could change the zoom uh, degrees. We could we could type in the uh, say 70 in there and hit return. And uh, I think that changes it slightly. It gives it a little bit more of a, an angle to it. So that now we can uh, save. And in in SketchUp Pro, we can put that on sheets. And we in Pro we use a, a separate part of Google SketchUp called Layout. <clears throat> so that's about it for now. I'm going to now produce another film now that follows on from this, which shows you how to bring in uh, Google SketchUp objects from the warehouse, put the doors and windows in, stick a bed in there and a couple of other things to make it look even more attractive. But uh, this is the first stage. Um, as you can see, it's quite straightforward. I'm no expert. I can do it quite easily and mistakes are easily rectified.